Today's verse is Matthew 4, 4, where Jesus says, As it is written, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. In this context, the devil is tempting Jesus to run ahead of God and also try to prove his identity. Jesus knew his identity as God's beloved son. Earlier at his baptism, the father had said, You are my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. The devil in our moments of temptation, when we feel physical need, will question God's goodness and also try to get us to prove ourselves. If Jesus is our Lord, then God is our Father, and we must remember in those moments our identity in Christ. Secondly, it's important not to jump ahead of the Lord. You'll be tempted to do that at times in your life. You're facing a gap or a hurdle of some sort, and you're tempted to use your own logic to say, well, I know what to do. I don't see God doing anything. Don't do that. Stephen and I both have learned the hard way. When we jump ahead of God, as we've done in many ways over the years, the consequences are not good. We're still paying the price in some mm-hmm. ways, but when we have trusted in the Lord, he's opened doors that only he could have opened. He's mm-hmm. touched hearts only he could have touched. So it's to his glory when we exercise faith and say, Lord, I need you to guide my steps. I need you to guide my decisions, Lord, and track with them. Don't jump ahead. Don't lag behind. Track with the Lord. He is a good God. You may be feeling the need right now. You may be feeling suffering in some way right now. Don't run ahead of God and embrace sin. Do what this verse says. Live by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. You can trust his word. It is your daily bread. Take care and God bless.